All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats, and of course everybody on YouTube for some Abzan Doom. That's what we're calling this deck. Uh, we got Doom Foretold, Abzan. Could call this Abzan Food, also because of course we have our, our food engine, Trail of Crumbs, Cauldron Familiar, Gilded Goose, Witch's Oven. That's one of the most popular things to be doing right now with our fires and food metagame. We got the food package in here, but we're going Abzan with Doom Foretold. And um, so we're going to call this Abzan Doom. Um, of course, Doom Foretold is just an awesome card as well. And we can kind of fit it in here with different things that are good to sacrifice. If we have um, extra like geese and trailer crumbs and golden egg, we have extra food. We can just sacrifice Cauldron Familiar to Doom Foretold, bring back Cauldron Familiar, kind of keep on doing that. Um, but then also, of course, since we're Abzan, we get Night of Autumn which is just a really good card in this metagame. We're just seeing tons of artifacts and enchantments everywhere. So we got two Knight of Autumn in the main, two more in the board. Um, Golgari Queen that can also destroy some Trail of Crumbs. We got another one of those in the board. Um, Othakaya and Golden Egg, those are kind of our... Um, oh, like, I don't love Othakaya right now, but it's kind of just our... Um, <clears throat> uh, it's it's kind of like a requirement to to help Doom Foretold. You know, it's it's our sacrifice to to play to make uh, Doom Foretold better. But then besides that, you know, like we have tons of permanents. You know, remember, like the thing about Trailer Crumbs, of course, is you can get any permanent card, and that's what makes Doom Foretold really good because it's a permanent. So basically, at, almost everything in this deck's a permanent. Just the Kaya's Wrath, uh, just to be something to reset if we're behind. Besides that, everything else is a permanent. So you know, like we can find Doom Foretolds off Trailer Crumbs to be able to play more Doom Foretolds, which that's awesome. And of course, we can find Knight of Autumn, find Othakaya, find Murderous Rider for a, a removal spell for Planeswalkers. And then in the late game, in the top end, we got this one at Bola Citadel. Um, you know, if we're gaining life because of these cards, you know, even Doom Foretold gains you life, you know, maybe we can go crazy. We have a lot of one and two mana cards also. Um, Citadel seems like it could just be amazing for us here. Um... I got an extra Citadel on the board for the control matchups and everything. A whole bunch of Disparks for Jeskai Fires. Um, Glass Casket's another permanent that you can find with Trail of Crumbs for the aggro matchups. So let's see how this does. Uh, let's see. We're going to need some sleeves. I guess we got a couple of Othakaya's, Kaya's Wrath. Let's go. Let's get some Kaya sleeves. Yeah. Well, we could we could do the food sleeve also. We are a food deck. We can't really use the food sleeve too much. Where's the food sleeve? Food sleeve. Oh, I forgot about this sleeve. This sleeve's awesome. Let's use this thing. All right, Abzan Doom. Yeah, Cauldron Familiar Bola Citadel is an awesome combo. All right, Stan Sifka, awesome player, usually beats us. We'll see how we do this time. All right, so mana looking a little rough to start the game. That's why we got the Trail of Crumbs. It's possible I'm just supposed to play Castle to start with. Darn. That Trail of Crumbs is definitely the most important card that I had. For sure.
Ooh, trail of crumbs. That's big. That is big. Never mind, not big. Planer cleansing getting me. That's how he got me last time. He had two planer cleansings. The second one really got me real bad. This time the first one did. Gotta get this attacking in. All right, not a bad time to draw Bola Citadel. Just saying. Hopefully this castle helps helps us finish this game out. I don't think Knight of Autumn's actually going to destroy anything. Like, you know, he's playing planar cleansing. I don't think there's any artifacts or enchantments in my opponent's deck. But I can't play Knight of Autumn and activate Castle and decide to just go with activating Castle. Since we can only do one of those two. Hmm. All right, that's good. That's good getting a planar cleansing out. Not just like not just a time wipe, but a planar cleansing. Responsibility. Let's try this. Ugh. That hurts. <laughs> I 
I know. That was gross, Hawkeye. I agree. That Gadwick was gross. This might be a bad idea. Bless you. Yeah, they got too much. Trust me, I have a plan. The well, the Gruel Henge upload is not it's not available on YouTube yet. It's it's not finished uploading. We'll be ready in like twenty minutes or so. Maybe 30. Yeah, planar cleansing, pretty awesome. All right, let's get all these duresses in. Extra citadel. All right, let's try this. I guess we have pretty easy sideboard. We have, you know, definitely have like 15 cards that I don't want to play whatsoever. A pretty easy sideboard card, sideboard that is. So yeah, so give it, give it some more time. I'll let you know whenever the gruel hinge is up on YouTube. Yeah, definitely, definitely don't like seeing planar cleansing. That's that's a tough one. Giant killer? Restraint. 
I guess the Doom Foretold is going to be kind of rough. Like, I don't really want to... Um... I don't really want to sacrifice any of my permanents yet. Now, now obviously, the Doom Foretold would have been really good. We'll shuffle it back in here. All right, I already got a Swamp. this up as I go. I'm expecting them to have... I'm expecting this last card to be a counterspell. Unfortunately, can't really stop them from countering Trail of Crumbs. I mean, obviously, I need. How could you? I could find duress. That'd be my way. Or just find something where we double spell, they you know spend mana to counter trail of crumbs, then we play something else. I'm not sure exactly what my opponent wants to kill with the giant killer. Yeah, maybe questing beast or mask a girl. Yeah, they could have a planar cleansing. Man, all these lands. So that's 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I shuffle those back. I just want to be able to double spell, you know, like play Trail of Crumbs and something else. This is going very well for them, though. This is exactly the, the type of game that they want to be playing. Okay, we got a Duress.
they just want to sack the Brazen Borrower. That looks awesome. And that card just keeps looking so good. I should have just sacrificed one of these foods. It's kind of hard for me to... Hawkeye is just kind of laying just... Just enough over here where I can't... I can't just see this part right over here. So I have to keep on looking over here of like where to click. And so it's making everything slower. Okay, come here. Come here, boy. I can't quite see. That's a lot of lands down at the bottom, too. One, two, three. F so that's five lands down at the bottom. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So besides counting the five lands down at the bottom, we, that's nineteen of our lands. This permanent creature of Planeswalker.
sorry I'm late. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. All right, we got a lot of life. As far as... Um, as far as Bola Citadel is concerned. Reset. I leave the Golgari now. Step aside or be crushed. Justified. Do thirteen more damage. This is lethal here. All right. That's what Citadel can do. Just machine gun down opponents for the win there. Alright, yeah, and unfortunately I don't want any of these. I don't really want the murderous riders either. I just don't want any of these. So if we weren't playing four to sparks, you know, maybe we'd have a couple more cards for this for this kind of matchup, but I don't have enough. All right, that was a good ending. Yep, yeah, yeah. Sifka, Sifka's a good person and um, great player. I think we basically always lose to, to Sifka. We played against Sifka playing this Azorius Control a few days ago, and he beat us pretty bad with the with the second Planar Cleansing. With the deck that we were playing, we were playing like uh, we were. I think we were playing Abzan Wolves at the time. We're gonna try to play Trailer Crumbs on turn two. Maybe I don't. Trailer Crumbs is our most important card to resolve.
All right, we got trailer crumbs in there. I only pick targets that interest me. Alive or alive? Uh, Gogari Queen was not as important. I just slammed it out there. Oh, just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Alright, good play, good play. Good play. I guess, I guess they could just have planar cleansing. I, I may have just... I was kind of expecting that to get countered. But I guess I need to play this even into a planar cleansing. Otherwise, we don't get any trigger on the trailer crumbs. I, I'm basically getting a, a trigger. Here. Okay. That doesn't leave me confident that they're playing planar cleansing. They just drop borrower. Uh, I guess they are. But it's not it's not the worst for me because we have Citadel. And we'll get the one trigger here. Yeah, it definitely hurts though. Hey, Kitty Dexterity. Gifting out the subs. Thank you so much, Kitty Dexterity. Gifting out um, six, five subs. And looks like I was behind one as we get to 21 now. Getting us to that next sub goal. So that's two sub goals towards our next 12 hour stream now. Oh, I... Um... Sure. Thanks, Kitty Dexterity. I don't have as much life to play with this time. It's about to end. Hope you're ready.
So I'm not sure if we can do 14 damage here. We're going to be trying. Not looking great for 14 damage. Definitely hit the land pocket. All right, well, that's all I can do. I guess I can. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Even if I play the trail of crumbs, that's only nine. One permanent short. Hey, Rex, good evening. One permanent short. I don't want to shuffle. I already, I already know like the bottom cards are lands. Okay. Abzan Doom doing some work there. Real good match. Great player. Yeah, I'll yep, I can refresh the stream. Yeah, definitely doesn't like whenever you get really late into a game like that. And there's just a lot of game objects and graveyards and exile and stuff like that. It, it really starts slowing down. So yeah, nice start for the deck. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Yeah, Bola Citadel was just amazing. That card, uh, you know, both those two games that we won. That card just seems perfect for our deck. Just perfect with Trail of Chromes and everything. Yeah, things are going great. We're on a five-game win streak, so that's that's good. We're up. We we started today at like ninety-six percent, and we're up in the numbers. So that's definitely good. So yeah, things are going great. All right. So while Citadel's our most powerful card, I probably want to put it down to the bottom with us just having two lands, and not really any. Um, any inkling that we're going to have a lot more lands right now. Obviously, we don't have any white mana, so you know maybe we get rid of Kaya's Wrath because it's dub double white. I mean, I guess this thing can technically technically be white mana too. There's definitely ways for us to shuffle, though. Go get him, cat. All right, they're already down to 19. We're up by a bucket here. Got that layup. All 
Oh no. Oh, I thought they were going to play a cat also and tie it back up. I guess now it's tied back up. Our trans transition defense wasn't good. So this can only filter one color. So I still need to find one red, one white source, sorry. One white source if I want to play Kai's Wrath. And there we go. Oh, is this Javier now? Yeah, this is this is Javier Dominguez, Dominguez, Ziz. It's a hard word to say. Plural account. Another just awesome player, good person. Or nothing but great things about Javier. All right, try to keep them from dealing damage to me to get these gutter bones back. Guess we'll have to block with the cat. We basically traded one of these eggs for that Black Lance Paragon. So I need to cast the Swift End during my turn. Well, one, now we get to play the Murderous Rider part, but. You know, too, you know, we don't want to take damage during their turn because Gutterbone's ability is only during, only if we lose life during their turn. Oh, it, it's not actually Javier? Oh, you were just, you were just referencing it because that's Javier right there on the Fervent Champion. Oh, uh, okay. That's what I thought you meant with the champ part. Hmm. I guess if I wanted to activate castle, I have to activate castle during uh, during my turn. Doom foretold. Wow, called it. Called it. Yeah, so yeah, these eggs are food. So yeah, you get that cauldron familiar value over here. Okay. Got that one. We get these glass caskets in here, an extra Kaya's Wrath, an extra Golgari Queen. 
Knight of Autumn can just play some D. Oh, okay. Javier's account is Thal Thalia. Cool. Um, do I play, so do I play Knight of Autumns to play some defense? No, this, this looks pretty good right here, but I got to cut cards, so I, maybe I just have to cut Knight of Autumns. I guess. They could blow up an Ember Cleave, but obviously Doom for Toll can take out an Ember Cleave as well. So this is 62. Maybe I just get rid of one Trail of Crumbs. Yeah, I play all the Golgari Queens. I was thinking about taking a Golgari Queen out. No, I, I definitely play the Golgari Queens. Maybe I just cut one goose, one crumbs. One rider. I I mean I just want the removal spell. I want to be able to kill like those seven sixes. And I want to kill like spawn of mayhems. Yeah. Yeah, just gotta be able to kill Spawn of Mayhem and Rotting Regisaur. And stuff like that. Kind of ugly. Give me that night. Good night. Yeah, our deck our deck has a lot of incidental ways to gain life though. Spyglass against the Doom Foretold deck? Okay. We got there, Scout. It was it was def it was a good game. Um, Sifka planar cleansing didn't wipe the board, and I had a um, I had a citadel to follow it up, and the citadel just pulled me ahead. Spyglass gives them something to sacrifice. I need to draw Kaya's Wrath. What? Well, I'm glad they're doing that. They should definitely be sacrificing their Spyglass. So that thing can do eight damage. Yeah, 
Well, the Paragon on its own is lethal. Or sorry, the Knight on, their, on its own is lethal, so they could have attacked with both. The real question is, what am I going to be sacrificing here? I mean, I should sacrifice Doom Foretold because then they should sacrifice Spyglass. But if they just don't sacrifice Spyglass, I could maybe get away with sacking one of these to deal with the creatures. No, I think we should just sack the Doom Foretold. That's good. And I, I didn't just put the Cauldron Familiar back in play on their end step, because we're not attacking with it anyway, and we may have drawn uh, Trail of Crumbs in the Trail of Crumbs. Would have got us more cards. Thanks, Rakuguru. Ugh. Stop getting all these lands. Alright, so I need this to actually trade. Come on, deck. We need any spell in the deck. Any spell. Alright, well, I guess that counts. Spell. They haven't figured out to sacrifice the Sorcerer's Spyglass yet. Alright, we're gonna need a better spell than that now. Now it's not any spell. Hmm. Alright, Doom Foretold isn't doesn't seem too great against gutter bones. Admittedly. We gotta get this fourth trailer crumbs in here. If I don't have trailer crumbs. We'll just cut we'll cut two Doom Foretolds. We'll get the goose and the trailer crumbs back in. We need these trailer crumbs to get these card advantage. Hmm. All right, I'm, I'm ditching the, the removal spell since we have the Kaya's Wrath.
Well, now I have basically no answers to that thing. Just have two Doom Foretold. We still just really want... Um, the crumbs. Trail of crumbs. That's what we need. We need trail of crumbs. That's not bad. We can just block this thing over and over again. I do have I do have a couple Gregari queens too that could kill the spyglass. That would work as well. The reason why I made that block is I was a little sc scared of Embercleave. That's what I was thinking with that block. But I guess it now just kind of makes sense just to kill this thing. Does it even make sense to kill that thing? Honestly, it doesn't really. Thing's not killing me very fast. My Cauldron Familiar has... My Cauldron Familiar Gilded Goose has both of these things checked. Oh, wow. What a draw. Now we're talking... Well, Witch's Oven doesn't do anything right now. Oh, I could have just blocked the 1-1 one, one with my O2. Could have just done that.
Sure. Hmm. I have a pump spell. That counts. We're still in a, we're in a great spot here. Still. But it has to attack him with these Oathsworn Knights. Which makes their attacks pretty bad. Uh, we'll save this Murderous Rider, have it up in case of Ember Cleave or a Trick or anything like that. if we meet again all right that's a pretty big game I think we're gonna get this one ran to somebody playing your Orzhov value deck best of one got crushed and loved it I've been playing the deck a lot still that's awesome there you go. that that's really cool yeah Orzhov value that's that's definitely a good one All right, down goes Vraska. This game looks pretty over them not having finding like an ember cleave or anything. Two and oh. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely yeah, same. I'm never mad if I ever see one of my own decks. You know, if I ever lose you know uh play against one of my own decks lose, I'm never never mad whatsoever. Um 
Do we need a reset? No, we don't. We just reset. Oh, sure, I could have attacked first, attacked for two, and gained one extra life. Sure. Like, the game was over. Yeah. Just didn't. Yeah, it just didn't matter. <laughs> the game was over. But yeah, I guess I could have attacked for two, and I would have gained one extra point of life. Instead of gaining one off Kaya's Wrath, I would have gained two off of the lifelink. Um, opponent goes first. Let's just try it. Yay. All right, got to make sure to get that in before a counter spell. This isn't a fight you can win. Don't worry, I got this. Yeah, Doom Foretold has been pretty good. Oh, I've done it hasn't been perfect. Um, we've played against two matches where Doom, Doom Foretold isn't amazing as well, but... Like, this is our second time playing Blue Eye Control, for example, here. I like using that. I like them using the Dovin's Veto there on the Doom Foretold and not on another Trail of Crumbs, which is going to be a lot more important. Um, I don't really even want that Doom Foretold, to be honest. No, I don't have any uh, Teamer Reclamation deck list. No. Um, I've got time. No, that's not a deck that I've really ever played. I hope my opponent's not playing Planar Cleansing. Yeah, it definitely felt like Chemistry's inside. I thought about doing this still and keep them from inciting if they counter it, but yeah, it looks like we're number four, five, six. Started today at 96%. This has been a very good rank up day. Get back to get back to where we uh, where we lost it the other day. Okay, let's see. Let's sack of food, add a black. Add a black for black cat. All right, now we'll add a blue. Oh, I can't add a blue. Right, Goose is gone.
I wouldn't mind if they just time wiped, because then it's easier for me to resolve the second trailer crumbs if they time wipe. Yeah, we're on a roll. Got six in a row. All right, so they'd rather scry than insight. We got a slow deck here, though. <clears throat> Opponent's got a slow one, too. Yeah, this is a new dragon that just came out today. It's just in the store. It's an expensive dragon. It's pricey. Um, it's like 3,000 gems. Oh, it's still making another food. I should have sacked this food, too, then. Um, I have double counter spell. Definitely possible. I guess we try it, though. <laughs> yeah, it's a frivolous bend, for sure. Maybe, yeah. Maybe expensive is not the best herb, but yeah, it's a frivolous spend. Boo. Why are they still playing all these Aether Gusts? Definitely just have another counter spell now. Can't really stop him. Should have cracked one of these other foods and gotten one extra trail of crumbs activation. So it's better for me to keep Cauldron Familiar in my graveyard for the trail of crumbs. But obviously it's not super likely that trail of crumbs is gonna be resolving here. And I just want to get the the attacking in. Get that damage in. Just hope they don't have planar cleansing. That's a good one. And yeah, it's a land, but it can give me a bunch of threats.
we go. Sorry, I bounce the Kaya. Hmm. Did not bounce the Kaya. I think I just ignore Teferi, right? Pretty sure I do. Kill with this thing. All right, have a good night, Radical Guru. I don't, yeah, I don't think Ethereal Absolution is really necessary. I think it's just a lot worse than Bola Citadel. I think it's the best Ethereal Absolution is going to be is against other Cauldron Familiar decks. That's that's where it could be like that's the one spot where it could be good, but um, just you know, six man is just expensive for what it's doing and everything. All right, we got nine more damage to deal. These cats are trying to do all 20, but just, but a lot more than 20 actually. They've gained six from absorbs, three more from lands. Cats are doing the twenty trying to do all twenty nine. I guess they've already done twenty. Hey Mark, yeah, yeah, this deck's pretty slow. Yeah, this is this is definitely a a slow deck. We're all we're playing against a control deck that's that's super a super slow control deck, so it just it really um, amplifies the slowness of our deck. Right on schedule. Protect you. All right, well that could be bad. They have counter magic. All right, well that's fine. That's why we got Knight of Autumns. Do, 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 do. What would you say is the most consistent deck that you've played other than Gruul in Historic? Um, I honestly, I haven't really played to consistency of decks and I just haven't played too many historic decks. A lot of the decks I've been playing were, were like best of one decks, trying out all of the other new cards and everything. 
Um, guess I attack you for one, you for one. Put them down to six, five, two, one. So if I do all the attacking at them, I put them down to one. They're just going to be dead anyway. So yeah, I guess I guess I don't have a great answer for you. Uh, for another... Um, that but if you're thinking about grinding historic yeah you find it more fun um like the main the main decks are are definitely going to be um you know like the obviously of course the kethis deck uh nexus of fate um esper control uh simic food you know like an oko deck um field of the dead Those are kind of the, the pillars of Historic right now. Mono Red with Burning Tree Emissary. I'm not sure if that's good enough compared to what the other decks are doing, but... Hey, thank you so much, Rossi. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Okay, yeah, if you really got into cat this before, then yeah, that's that's a great place to be. All right, Rossi sub number 22. All right, so same sideboarding from before. So we're going to bring in Duress, Citadel, Golgari Queen. I guess this this version that we just played against, though, they're... You know, we saw, like, those Prison Realms. They're probably going to be trying to do more Enchantment, Exile. So maybe Night of Autumn is better. Yeah, like last time I just cut the Night of Autumns and cut a couple of Murderous Riders. This is what I did last time. Doom Foretold can take out those kind of things too, though. We'll just take out the Oath of Kayas. And play 3 Rider, 2 Knight of Autumn. So the good news is they're probably not playing Planar Cleansing since they were playing Prison Realm. Alright, Risky. Never any doubt. All right, get this underneath Dovin's Veto. Or Negate. That's weird. No, I, I don't really worry about being sniped on stream. I mean, it, it happens sometimes, and it's yeah, it just it just happens. It's not it's not then it's nothing that I'm going to really um, you know do do too much about. Um, you know, I, I just I just care that it, we have a 
a good stream for y'all that are watching and everything, so I'm not going to be trying to put a big delay or hide my hand or anything like that. It happens. It's just part of the part of the business. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't want to have like some kind of big delay and I don't want to make the viewing experience worse for everybody else. It's not It's not that big of a deal. <clears throat> Alright, so I'll I'll murderous rider this brazen borrower next turn, like they like end step. Um Chemister's Insight. So like basically the next time they cast Chemister's Insight, I'll be able to play the Murderous Rider. Such a better card. We'll have that in the back pocket for later. Or, or I could cast it right now. Did they have one of these be a counter spell? Maybe, maybe not. I guess my life total is a little low. I'll just pass. I could have used the goose to add that extra mana. Why would they do that over casting Chemister's Insight? Just draw two cards over Scry 2. Yeah. Sometimes he'll like bat, he'll bat the mouse, bat. When you click on him, he does a little flying thing. And he, sometimes he'll breathe fire. There he goes. They just tap out. Is inviting me to cast Citadel. I guess I should have just taken the Doom Foretold. I don't want to play the land. We could hit a land like that. Okay. They did have planar cleansing.
It's all good. We got another trail of crumbs. So we'll figure it out. Yeah, I just sideboarded it. Makes sense. Guess like we figured out. <laughs> Planar cleansing should also exile graveyards. All right, they're down to five. I know my responsibility. I've got it. I guess we kill that thing. Yeah, that. Hopefully the lag's gone. Yeah, we hit a lag patch just a little bit ago. Hopefully it's better now though. I am not going to sit this one out. Let's All try right, this. They're just gonna be able to roam cloak giant in some speed. So we'll have them Realm Cloak Giant. Sack of food. I'm just going to gain four life to make my castle lock twain better. All right, we got four lands down at the bottom. Yeah, so that's 15 total, including those. But it's basically half our deck. I mean, out of 29 cards, 15 out of or 15 out of 31. Good thing we gained four life with the Knight of Autumn. <laughs> so I shot my first turkey today, scared the hell out of everyone in the frozen food section. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to shoot turkeys in the frozen food section.
Um. <laughs> no, I am not making this up as I go. Could have fooled me. All right, so we got four more damage to try to deal. We're getting there. It's our opponent's win con. Uh, probably attacking us with these creatures. Probably. Like Brazen Barber. Huh. Do I shuffle? Probably not. Not yet, at least. I mean, they, they can just, if I try to duress first, they'll just respond with a wrath, so there's not really a reason to wait, there's not really a reason to do, to wrath right away. Hmm. That's a lot of lands. <laughs> I think this is probably going to be our last game of the night. Yeah, usually we don't play four, but this is already an hour, 45 minute league for just these three matches. And we're already 30 minutes over when I'd normally stop. It's getting late. I don't, basically I don't really want to start another one and have another 45 minute, another 45 minute match. So hopefully we can just finish this game out, get the 3-0. This deck feels really like it's very good. It's just really slow. But also, my, I mean, it doesn't help that, you know, we played against two blue white control, which is the, like, you know, the slowest deck as well. Yeah, this is, this version is very grindy. I mean, if we ever get like the Bola Citadel, though, Bola Citadel usually just kills them in a turn. Hey. How about that? Um, or yeah, we'll just play this. Eh, let's just see what happens. Oh, really? Their one last card was Dovin's Veto? Rude. Maybe I should have just slammed down the, the Doom Foretold. Don't 
think I shuffle still. Five lands down to the bottom. So this is just they they discard a card, I I draw a card. Oh really? Okay. Cool. Oh, right, it drains two also. So I guess I can just sack that thing, kill this thing. Play this. Uh, draw another card. Play that. So gotta find Brazen Borrower or some instant speed life gain. Yay! Okay, well, awesome couple last leagues for a rank up. All right, we got Abzan Doom for a 3-0. So yeah, even though even though it's just three, usually we want to play you know four or five matches, but. Usually that we want to spend like between an hour and a half and two hours um, on each deck also. Um, but yeah, this was an hour 46 and really, really long grindy games. But Trailer Crumbs, really powerful. So we, you know, we saw Cauldron Familiar Witch's Oven do a ton. This deck looked really good. Um, you know, we just played against Blue Eye Control twice and um, Rakdos, Knight, Rakdos Knights, you know, so the aggro deck there. So we, you know, that's that's kind of a good showing though. If you're doing good against the hyper control, hyper aggro decks, that's that's definitely a good showing. We didn't we didn't play against any other, you know, like a, a cauldron familiar mirror or or Jeskai fires, but um, there's just a lot of good stuff here, and um, you know, love the the sparks against the Jeskai fires, getting all these Knight of Autumns against other Trail of Crumbs witches ovens decks. Um, so like against the other, yeah, against those, you know, we have the four Knight of Autumns and the two Golgari Queens for some good removal spells um, for Trailer Crumbs and Witches Ovens. And then, of course, we also have the Doom for Tolds that can take out those kind of permanents as well. Bola Citadel was just, was just really clutch. That card was really good. But So, yeah, I like, I like everything that we had going on here. This felt really good. Um, if it does turn out that other Cauldron Familiar matchups are a little bit of a struggle, then then you could definitely have a um, an ethereal absolution in the sideboard so that their Cauldron Familiars are just always dead. Um, and then it, to find room, if you want to know, like I would probably take out the fourth Dispark. I wanted just four Disparks. So I really wanted to uh, beat Jeskai Fires. We didn't play against it, though, but uh, that's, that's where I would trim. I would cut the fourth Dispark for an ethereal absolution. If, if you're playing it and if you want a leg up on other Cauldron Familiar decks. So that's an option there. Uh, Casualties of War is another good option. So you could, could definitely play one Casualties of War instead of that fourth Dispark. Also. Uh, where do we post the deck list? Uh, right there. That, that's the Stream Decker link for all the deck lists, but then it's also kind of easy to find them on YouTube. If you just go to YouTube, go to the video section um, on YouTube, it's, you know, you can actually see like the thumbnails and stuff and it's kind of easier to find. If you click whatever video you click on um, in the description of the video, there's a link to the Stream Decker page. Um, um, 
but there we go. So that's that's uh that's Abzan Doom. So yeah, awesome finish there for the the rest of the the rest of the uh, videos there. You know, finished with seven zero. So there we go. Good rank up day. Um, so I hope you all liked this. If you're watching on YouTube, and if so, hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Of course, feel free to leave the comments. Let me know how the deck's going for you. All that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching some Abzan Doom, and I'll see you for the next video.